Right, we're talking about the last movie, at least with Friday the 13th in the title. Uh, Friday the 13th, part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan. Uh, directed by Rob Hidden and written by Rob Hidden. Um, hmm, that's always a bad sign, I feel like. Well, it's just the director is also the only writer. Well, that's a bad sign. And guess what? This is not. This is a bad movie. Um, it's not good. Guess where most of the movie takes place? On a boat. This movie's called Jason Takes Manhattan. He's sitting there going through most of the movie going... He's going to get to Manhattan. Not... It should have been called Jason on a Boat. Much better title. I'd watch Jason on a Boat. Uh, honestly, they... But that is some advantage to the film. It's not the same fucking setting. Which is good. It's good in some ways. It's just, you know, he's not on the exact same fucking place he's been for the last seven movies. There's a definite advantage to that. I don't think it delivers in the horror aspect in ways. Like, I, mm, yeah, it's like, it's not, there's not really some good deaths other than Jason taking out someone with a guitar. That's about it. That's like the only cool death I can remember off the top of my head. Um, the best part, personally for me, is the character Julius, who find, uh, meets Jason uh, right near the end of the movie and proceeds to try and punch him. And proceeds to try and fight him. Honestly, you, you have to give, him, to give the character credit. At least he tried to tr take him down. I mean, he didn't succeed, but he tried, and it was... It was such a good scene. I mean, it was probably my favourite scene from the movie. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think what is my favourite part of the movie. It's hard to say, personally. I wasn't a big fan. Shocking, I know. Um, yeah, that, that, he, he was generally my favourite character. Um, you always have the... So... This is a woman who's uh, this teenager whose parents have died, so kind of has this adoptive father who's terrible and ignores anything she says. And, you know, when, when everyone goes, hey, it's Jason, he's like, no, it's not Jason. It's not Jason. It's not Jason. Oh, look, it's Jason. I mean, I feel like you have to have that guy in a horror movie, I know, but... He definitely lo he definitely survives for way too longer than he should. That's what I'm saying. If you got a character like that, they should die early on. You should kill that character early in the movie. It's much better if you kill them. Um, try to think. Uh, oh yeah. So, what one one thing about this movie? Uh, so the it's the first uh, debut of Kelly Hugh, who is in a lot of good stuff. She's alright in this movie. Um, yeah, it's the first, like, proper movie. Uh, you may recognize her, what was it, Young Justice? Sorry, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to remember it in my head. I'm like, yeah, no, definitely Young Justice. Justice. She is, she's been a last, and yeah, Lady Deathstrike. Um, woman's been in a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, definitely, for me, personally, it's Young Justice. Uh, I, I don't know what it is for you. You let me know in the comments. Come on, have a um, leave me some comments. Say hey, Go, hey, what's going on? I watched your video. Hey yo. Now so let let's get back to the movie. Um, yeah, Jason's on a boat. It's, it's, I want to say it's like two thirds of the movie is Jason on a boat, which would be cool. Again, if the movie was called Jason on a boat, it's not called Jason on a boat. It's called Jason Takes Manhattan. He is in, he's barely in Manhattan. Seriously, it's, it's just, it, I, I was just sitting there go, watching through the entire movie, just going, is, is, is he, is he going to go there? Is he going there anytime soon? Are we, are we, uh, are we, no, no, okay, okay, that's fine. 
Yeah, well, it wasn't wasn't a big fan of that. wasn't a big fan of the main character in this movie. I don't think they were that great because they were just kind of like someone's like, oh no, I'm scared of water. Why am I on a boat? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um. I was a bit annoyed because uh, uh, she has like a teacher who's also uh, is basically encouraging to her, and um, yeah, she she ends up getting blown up in a car. It was a bit, a bit, a bit sad. Um, it was not a good way for that character to just die, and I was still annoyed that the the annoying like adoptive father was still alive. He was annoying. He was one of the worst. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think what 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 else happened in the movie, but it's so forgettable. All right, it's it's just not a good movie. It's so bad. It's just a meh, if I'm honest. Like, Jason kills. Like, pretty much everyone? Except for like two characters in those five. I don't know if they continue on. It seems to be a thing of... Very rarely do people survive in these uh, Friday the 13th movies. It's very, very, very rare. I don't think they were that good enough, good enough to survive further. Um... Would I recommend this? No, no, would not. Do not watch it. Do not pass go. It's no way connected to the previous films, really. Um, even the fact that Jason's on a boat is just like, what? Why is Jason on this? Why is he going on this? Okay. Why? It's just, I'm just like, ugh. It, it almost like it's like, why? Why is? Why? Yeah, it's, it's just one. It's, it's like meh. Yeah. But yeah, that's all. So yeah, yeah. Will I watch it? No, don't watch it. Don't care. Um, it's forgettable, and I can see why. It's apparently the I think the worst performing of any of the. Friday the 13th movies, of course, at least according to, yeah, poorest performing movie. Um, weak humor. There was humor in this film? There was humor? Unintelligent plotting and a failure to effectively deliver on the premise of the subtitle. Yep, there we go. There it is. Just like, nope. Probably because it would just cost more money to film in New York. Yeah, filmed in Vancouver. And then, yeah, it probably cost too much money to film in New York. So, like, well, yeah, let's not do that. Anyway, hopefully the next movie is better. Um, it already has a promising title. Let's be honest. Uh, the next movie is Jason Goes to Hell, The Final Friday. That sounds like a great title. I'm already, I'm, I'm already in, I'm, I'm already invested in that title. That sounds good. I'm hoping it's good. I have no idea. Um, it could be good. It could be bad. We'll find out uh, soon. I think the n actually no, not soon. Because um, I think the next two horror movies I'm going to watch are going to be Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Um, because I'm doing these in release order, and this is the first time where it's it's shown up that it's just like two. Nightmare on Elm Street, cause, like Jason takes a break, because I guess, because those, because this one was so bad, it ended up killing it for a little bit, just a little bit. Um, let me know, just check my spreadsheet. Uh, yeah, so yeah, so the next two movies are going to be a Nightmare on Elm Street Five: The Dream Children and Freddy's Dead: The Final Nightmare. Um. So the, yes, yeah, so we've got two two of those, and then once we come back, we've got 
Jason Goes to Hell, The Final Friday, and uh, Wes Craven's uh, New Nightmare, so I'll do those two together. Um, yeah, look forward to that. Hopefully, hopefully it's good, because I think these movies have taken definitely a downward trajectory. Um, they're getting worse and worse, so I'm hoping they're still hoping this gets better. Who knows? Tune in. It'll be a while from now because I generally alternate. Uh, I do a horror movie and the kaiju film, a horror movie and a kaiju film. So it's going to be a while to actually get to these films. So, hmm. See you then, hopefully. <laughs>